these TikTok conspiracy theories are going to have you wondering, are they actually theories or facts? Let's watch. Does anyone want to tell me how in 1927 Universal Studios came up with this picture of the world? When the first picture of the world wasn't available until the 1960s through NASA? Almost 40 years later? Wait, are you serious? Somebody check her math for me and uh, report back to me. Cause, Cause what? 1927 Universal Pictures, we knew this to be a thing for any one of you like myself that used to love to watch those old black and white movies. And yeah, they definitely had this image of the globe and no one really thought much of it. So is it really true that the first image of the globe did not come out until about 40 years later when NASA produced the image for us? Nah, come on, it, it, something ain't right. How did Universal Studios know that this is what the world looked like? Especially from space when we hadn't been to space yet. Does anyone know? Anyone want to guess? Has Kanye West been cloned? If you've been on TikTok for all of five seconds, you've probably heard this Kanye West conspiracy theory stating that the rapper has actually been replaced with a clone. But where does the conspiracy come from? The answer, surprisingly, is that it originates from Kanye West himself. West is no stranger to controversy or sometimes off-the-wall remarks, and this recent freestyle of his is no exception. <laughs> But that's not all. He said, watch how they cloned me? People have taken to social media with height comparisons of Kanye and various celebrities before and after the supposed cloning took place. West's height is five foot eight, and here he is with his former wife, Kim Kardashian, who is five foot two. West's new wife, Bianca Sensori, is purportedly only one inch shorter than him at five seven, but there are multiple photographs showing Sensori who looks much shorter than West wearing heels, even while he's more or less barefoot. But the rumors don't end there. West's general appearance and strange new habit of wearing upper body padding has sparked some unusual headlines along with his strange new fashion choices. And the rapper himself keeps making strange allusions to other celebrities and various pop culture conspiracy theories. Do you know the first time I ever took medication of why I was? Because I got mad at paparazzi. I'm so sorry. You know, you know what paparazzi was? No. The same one that shot Britney. Oh. We ain't going nowhere, baby. We've been here for years. Yeah. Yeah. If, 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 if I ever went anywhere, we'd know why. You understand what I'm saying? So. West and Sensori also made headlines after West's recent attack on the brand Balenciaga for its recent highly controversial and incredibly shady ad campaign, only to show up shopping at a Balenciaga store. Definitely an unusual 180 to make after coming out so hard against the brand. So, is all this just West's attempt to stay in the headlines or something more sinister? I'll let you be the judge, but I'd love to know what you think. Is Kanye West a clone, or is this all just one big publicity stunt? Wait, that image didn't even look like Kanye. What was that? You see that? Hold on, I gotta go back. These don't look like the same people. Something weird going on here. Why does it, this image gotta be edited in some way? Because why does it feel like there might be a line here and there's definitely a line here and then you see the, the color changes in the image here. And then here, it's like it's soft all in this area and then it gets a bit, you know, more natural down in here and above his head. Some, some nah, I don't trust this image. They might come after me for telling you this. Moving on to the end of our list here, we have the Rothschild Rockefellers. This refers to the two most powerful and richest families in the world. Starting off with the Rothschilds, which was five brothers that basically own and control the banking in all of Europe. Through this, they amassed a fortune, and since then have funded major military efforts, bailed out banks and even governments, and basically have their companies and hand in almost every country across the world. On the other side in America, we have the Rockefellers, who amassed their fortune through industrialization and the monopolization of the oil companies. With this money, they were able to fund such projects like the atomic bomb, the invention of nuclear weapons, and even had a major role in funding and creating the UN. The actual net worth of both these families is unknown, but it could be anywhere from 500 billion upwards to the trillions. And the theory here is that they control everything from what you hear to the money you receive to the systems put in order that you follow. And of course, guys, with a lot of money comes a lot of power, but power leads to dangerous situations. And even though this is theory, revealing this information could be very dangerous because Cause what? Cause what? You ain't say nothing. You just left us with some loud music playing for the next clip. 
Leonardo da Vinci Last Supper, okay. Wait, there's a face here. I see something going on here. I think you didn't give enough detail for me to come up with a, a f fair conclusion, but okay. In the Bible, Adam and Eve ate the apple, the forbidden fruit, before the fall of mankind. And now everyone carrying around the device with them, within a, with the apple bitten on the back. Mine is covered by the pop socket. Oh, uh, look. The forbidden fruit, the apple, now we all carry this device. I know some of y'all Android people are like, haha, that's why I got an Android, because can't trust Apple, yeah, whatever. Andrew Dawson filmed what he claimed was a giant on top of a mountain in Jasper National Park in Alberta, Canada. This was an interesting story. This young man is no longer living after this situation. Makes you believe that what he captured was indeed real. In the following days, he tried to get closer to find and film the creature, but in the process claimed to be stopped, harassed, followed, and stalked by the CIA. He then stops posting videos for over a month, and when he returns, uploads an update video that is extremely strange, and viewers pointed out that it seemed like it was forced. His next video that he uploads would be his last, because a month and a half later, sadly, tragedy struck. That's a brief overview of this strange saga. I just uploaded a full-length video document this on my youtube channel okay guys i just found something out and um it's blowing my mind some of you may already know this so don't come in the comments like <laughs> you didn't know that no i didn't you know why because i live in the united states of america where we have been brainwashed and not been taught about real history okay if you guys go to the first video on this playlist the simulation i filmed it on january 11th 2021 and it was showing how all of the times were different on every clock every digital clock my boyfriend at the time was working. He had like three computers in front of him. They all said different times. His phone set a different time. He came upstairs to show me my phone set a different time. All the times were messed up. In my comments, people were like, what about analog clocks? As you can see, I have analog clocks. So I went to check those and those were off too. So I was like, there's been a weird shift in the universe because the ball also didn't drop on time at the New York ball. Um, It was like a minute late or something. I was like, we've definitely shifted dimensions. Something's going on. Look at this. I recently came across a video talking about how the calendar is supposed to have 13 months, but the Gregorian calendar changed it, which is the calendar we follow today. So I see this comment, come to Ethiopia, you will see what you are saying. We have 13 months within a year. So someone commented, right now we're in 2014, year of Mercury. Today's date is Thursday, the 22nd of March, 2014. Our new year is on the 1st of September. And I was like, wait, they're living in 2014 and we're living in 2022? Is that why they say that all time is simultaneous, like past, present, and future, we're all living in it at once? But then I saw this comment. So if we're in 2014, according to your calendar, 2020 Gregorian calendar corresponds to 2012 your calendar when the truth started to come out and people woke. So the Mayans were right. COVID really put everyone in 2020. Using your calendar, that means that the year 2012 was the end of the world. <laughs> Mind blown. Okay, so of course I had to look up when our calendar started. It was in 1582. Ethiopian calendar started around AD 400. So they are obviously way more correct than we are. How many years did we lose switching to the Gregorian calendar? Eight years. We're lost in translation when the switch to the Gregorian calendar was made to the 15th, in the 15th century. And if you guys remember, the Mayan calendar says that the end of the world would be on December 21st, 2012. And even according to the Julian calendar, that would be on January 21st, 2020, when COVID was at its peak. So I'm freaking out in the middle of the night and I message my dear friend, JK Ultra, Jen, if you guys aren't following her, please go follow her, who's super into all this stuff. And I was like, girl, I'm sure you know this, but did you know this? And her and I are both freaking out because we didn't know this. So she goes and converts what day is December 21st, 2012 in the Ethiopian calendar? What does it calculate to us? December 31st, 2019. So the last day of the world, according to the Mayan calendar, was on December 21st. 2012 if we had kept up with the original calendar but because we switched it it was december 31st 2019 basically what they're saying was that current was the switch like it it changed everything for us so the world as we once knew it to be ended now we're living in a new world a different world that's only ever so slightly different because so much of it is still the same, maybe? I don't know what, leave me alone. In 2020, the new world started. So we have already shifted into a new dimension. And this is why everything is so different. This makes so much sense. Are you guys freaking out? Cause I'm freaking out. I have this post. I mean, if the math is math incorrect, then I I'm with it. I believe it. 
But if it ain't, then she just said a lot of words. One of the most creepiest conspiracies I've heard. All right, let's see what they're talking about. These are the Georgia Guidestones. Yes, 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 we know of them. They have eight different languages and give instructions on how to rebuild society after an unknown ap apocalyptic event. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. We know this. We know this. I haven't been to the stone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Japanese language had graffiti on it. It was a pentagram with the number 666 that said God is a superstition. Why do you think the people in Georgia would make this? What do they know and what are they trying to tell us? There's a whole documentary on the origins of these Georgia Guidestones. I would highly recommend you guys checking it out so you would know more of the truth because what this individual here is saying ain't right. Not all the way right. You need to focus and, um, and try not to let stuff bother you as much as possible. But it is going to bother you because you're human. And, and I was human. I am human still. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, no, uh-uh, he caught himself, he caught himself. He says, you shouldn't let stuff bother you, but it's gonna bother you because you're human. He said, I was human. Um, but, um, but it, but I was just- Privacy thing, and I thought that was a fascinating answer. No, it's okay, answer. you wanna take off the hoodie? No, I never take off the hoodie. I know you don't, <laughs> look at that. Yeah, we saw this clip recently. He gets uncomfortable when asked to take off this hoodie. And then once he reveals what's inside of this hoodie, the lining in the back of it, the inner back, he, he gets more uncomfortable. Just watch his mannerisms. A group of women in the audience that wish you would. Uh, no. <laughs> Girls? Whoa. <laughs> See, look, look at him. Look how extremely uncomfortable he is at the idea of removing this hoodie. He know he hot. He wiping sweat off his forehead. Take the hoodie off, bro. What you hiding? All right. All right. That's okay. Um, you should take off the hoodie. Take off the hoodie. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Yo, you should just... See, he he making himself look guilty of something. You take off the hoodie and just place it down on the armrest next to you. Nobody would think anything of that. But because you're acting suspicious, we all know you hiding something in that hoodie, boy. Here. Can we get something? Oh. You all right? What? Oh, oh really? God, the inside of the hoodie everybody. Oh, God. Look at his shirt, pouring sweat. Take a moment. What is it? Making the... Making the world more open and connected. Oh my god, it's like a secret Ooh. cult. What did she say is like a secret cult? Look at that, making the world open and connected. Stream graph platform and this weird symbol in the middle that is probably for the Illuminati. This weird symbol in the middle that is probably for the Illuminati. Oh my god, it's like a secret Ooh. cult. This. Ooh, interesting, interesting. You see the star? You see the star? No, y'all see it. Weird symbol in the middle that is probably for the Illuminati. Oh my God, it's like a secret. Well, so. That is creepy looking. That is creepy. This is a part two to my brothers and sisters in the Catholic faith. Please wake up. What's up guys, it's Calvin. Hit that plus button for more content like this and share it with someone who needs to hear it. Straight to it, this is the next quote. A satanic hand sign. Ancient art, satanic hand sign. I wouldn't recommend reading it, but this, these are a satanic hand signs. And this is the name of the book. Famous people using these satanic hand signs all the time. Here is a satanic person using that same hand sign. It's a very sad story, I'm not gonna go into it. Here's a Baphomet using that hand sign. Here's a satanic high priest, uh, uh, Anton LaVey, using that sa a satanic hand sign. The Beatles using satanic hand signs. Look at John Lennon. Ancient art of a false Jesus with these satanic hand signs. Wow. Stay with me. And here's an ex-pope with an upside inverted cross on his chair. And then look at the comparison to the satan. 36 year old Scottish computer engineer, Gary McKinnon. They are there to arrest him on behalf of the United States Justice Department 
for hacking into top secret computers at NASA and the Pentagon. McKinnon not only admits to the crime, but claims he uncovered evidence that the U.S. government was working with extraterrestrial beings. There were a lot of text files that had lists of places, installations, military bases, Air Force bases, Navy sites, NASA sites. So there was a lot to go through. But I did find a gold mine of information. If this is indeed true and he was indeed arrested for hacking, why would he lie about the information that he received when hacking? Uh-huh. According to McKinnon, he unearthed a secret U.S. military program that existed entirely in space. I found the spreadsheet was actually titled in the column of non-terrestrial officers, as well as officers' names. It had ship names. None of these were ocean-going ships. It was astounding. Well, the government got smart. They stopped doing all the, all the inventions and all the technology themselves because once they developed the technology themselves, they had to give you the FOIA, the Freedom of Information Act, where you can pull down the records and see exactly what they're doing. So now they subcontract out all the work to Lockheed Martin, Skunk Works, and all these places, right? Northrop Grumman. So you can't see what the hell's going on. You have no clue what's out there. I'm here to tell you the technology is 300 years ahead of whatever you can dream of. 300, not 40, not 50, not 100, 300. Whatever you can think, whatever you can imagine in your mind, whatever you can conjure up and think based on whatever sci-fi movie you saw before. Right. I'm here to tell you it already exists. It already exists. Interesting. I went back on Google Earth viewing Antarctica at this lab building that has reptilian skulls on display. That's when I noticed a man with sunglasses and a beanie peeking through the crack of the door. Really creepy. Where? Oh, what the? Yo, that is creepy. Or is it Pareidolia? Nah, that's Creepidolia. Forget that mess. One, one point that I will talk about without getting CIA's permission. Since World War II, we learned that there has been an alien hybridization of humans. Exclusively since, since World, it, War World War II? World War II. That's when the CIA learned about it. World War II. That's what prompted me to look back at World War II and say, okay, where did this information come from? Mm. But still, it should be a DNA record of that. We should be able to tell them. Absolutely. And that's what's not released. That's still... Well, but, but I mean, this is being done by academics. It's, you know, the government doesn't do the DNA research. Yes, you know, we do. Yes, we well, do. Well, sure, but I would... There, it's not private, right? There's no classification of our DNA. Uh, you can't classify looking yeah. into our DNA. You, you can classify our DNA? You think that they're holding secrets of our DNA from us? Certain, how, how could they do that? Because the law allows CIA and the intelligence committee to do operations like that because no one bothers to read the law. It, they're so you think that they're going into like the you know university biology programs and, uh, and saying, don't, don't study this, you know, you can't publish uh, these no, documents? No, no, no. That's not wouldn't, the way it's Wouldn't that mean they're also redacting information from organizations like 23andMe and Ancestry and those others? Once you give your blood, uh, once you give your uh, saliva to 23andMe and these others, if you read the fine print, you gave away your DNA for the purposes right. of, you know, creating Scientific research, yeah. Site, big pharma. Is the CIA and other intelligence organizations working directly with these companies to limit what information they put back out to the populace? I don't know. Circle, it accelerates particles in that big circle around and around and around and around until they're traveling at just enormous velocity. Mm -hmm. And then they collide these particles together. And in that moment, it creates a moment that they think is kind of how the Big Bang started the whole universe. That's mm -hmm. the whole purpose behind it. However, they also believe that there are parallel realities around us, other dimensions, and there could be other intelligence there. However, I hear that this is like allegedly the main focal point of CERN right now is that they're trying to open up a portal to another dimension and maybe co combine ours. But there's a little boy years ago, 12 years old, who felt as though CERN had already done it, which is why we're experiencing the Mandela effect. 
There's a reason God put them on the other side of that veil, and you might not want to open the door. Their mm. own director of CERN has gave uh, uh, interviews to the British press in which he admits that's what they're trying to do. They want to open a door to another dimension. And he said, when we open this Dang, door... Dang, CERN has admitted it. And this boy predicted it before, I, if I remember correctly, before CERN even said anything. Before CERN admitted what they're trying to do, I think this boy predicted it. It's believed that CERN did it. They already accomplished it. They're telling people that they're trying to do something that they already did. Or he said something might come through it into our reality. Or he said we might send something through it into their reality. You can look that up. It's in the British press where the CERN was built. This is St. Genus Poeli. That's the name of the township. But in ancient days... Whoever in the midnight... That kind of reminds me of the TV show Flash. Where as things are happening in one universe, they could be happening in another and then they can kind of cross and merge together or things are happening along the, the timeline, but the timeline is really all at the same time, which is, which is crazy to imagine that now is also the past and also the future. Ugh, I don't even like that thought. However, in the mid-1990s, a man came forth with a stunning story about his experiences in an underground base built under the Archuleta Mesa, just north of Dulce. His name was Phil Schneider. Phil Schneider, uh, he started going public in the mid-1990s, and uh, he started attending some UFO conferences and started to reveal his background uh, as a civil engineer. He showed his documentation that he was the son of an uh, Operation Paperclip uh, scientist and that he was recruited into these covert programs. It tends to be a kind of generational thing, so he just followed his father's footsteps. I was just about to ask, how was he able to get this sort of clearance and access? Did he go through the same background um as his father in regards to what he studied and what he practiced and what field he entered in, the connections that he had, the experience that his father gained. I'm like, how was he able to just get right into this stuff and have the same sort of access that his father had? And then he says it, this guy says it. He was like, it was a generational thing. <laughs> it was just like, oh, you're, oh, okay, your dad did this. All right, welcome aboard. That's crazy. I guess with the assumption that back then these men told their sons, their offsprings a lot about their job or what they did. These covert programs, it tends to be a kind of generational thing. So he just followed his father's footsteps, building these underground bases that would be joint facilities for extraterrestrials and uh, elite human units. So he's building these bases all over the place. He's part of the team that kind of like is looking at different areas uh, that would be suitable for, for the construction of a base. And he... Oh, it's like I want so badly for somebody that's actually in the military right now that has the, a high enough degree of clearance to where they're, they can actually communicate with these extraterrestrials. Let them come forward. Let that person come forward and hopefully with some video and picture evidence because what they will claim, majority will think that they're crazy for. Described a number of incidents. Uh, one, of, one of the incidents uh, happened in uh, 1979, the famous Dulcie battle. Yeah, wait, did I hear that correctly? Some of the information, DNA or something that he took from the, these grays is what's used in our stealth bombers today? Like, how is that even possible? Mansion. The pool in the Baltimore mansion. What happened here? John Podesta Art Collection. What? This is John Podesta, the senior advisor to the president for clean energy innovation and implementation. Okay. Podesta has worked under Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, and now Joe Biden and is responsible for hundreds of millions of dollars. So why would he have graphic art of bound children with parts referencing the satanic Red Shoe cult, who supposedly practice child sacrifice? Is this meant to be art? Restrained children in underwear. John's brother Tony, hanging with his wealthy elite friends, noticed the Red Shoes. Oh, nah. That, nope, that... 
I was waiting for something to be a giveaway, and here it is. Freaking red shoes, just like the kids in the images. Why? Why did he have that? Did he think it was somebody else's? So he maybe he kept it and held on to it until he found the rightful owner? Or was this what he really was about? Ooh. Weird, man. Weird. Anyway, leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. See ya.